China and knockoffs seem to go hand in hand, but not necessarily in a negative way. In 2013, the People's Liberation Army Air Force added to its arsenal an embarked aircraft capable of operating from the Liaoning aircraft carrier, the J-15 Flying Shark. For many it is just a copy of the Soviet Su-33, for others it is a powerful offer whose ceiling has not yet been reached. In this new military aviation video we are going to learn the secrets of this combat aircraft, and what is the future of China in the aerospace market. Get ready, because the comparison with the Soviet model will surprise you. Like many of the Chinese Air Force aircraft, the history of the J-15 is directly tied to Soviet technology. When the first rumors about this plane were known, experts claimed that it was basically going to be a semi-stealthy variant of the Sukhoi Su-47 Golden Eagle fighter, an experimental model that was never produced in series. However, later official Chinese reports indicated that the aircraft was based on the Russian design for the Sukhoi Su-33 carrier-based aircraft. What was not known until now was that, in 2001, the Chinese government bought an unfinished Sukhoi Su-33 fighter jet from Ukraine. The Su-33 is an all-weather fighter designed in the 1980s, based on the mythical Su-27 flanker. It entered service in 1998, so in 2001 it was still a recent design about which little was known. Chinese engineers performed what is known as reverse engineering or retroengineering, that is, analyzing a finished model to understand how it works and then building a model of their own. But the process was neither easy nor cheap, after several years of study, China was still struggling, so in 2009 it tried to buy a complete Su-33 from Russia. Unfortunately for Beijing, the offer did not come to fruition. China had to continue the development of its new carrier-based fighter aircraft only with the technology obtained thanks to the Ukraine. The result was the J-15, an aircraft based on the structure of the Su-33, but with the avionics of a fourth-generation Shenyang J-11 fighter, which is said to be the best of both worlds. The original prototype of the J-15 naval fighter made its maiden flight on August 31, 2009, powered by Russian AL-31 engines manufactured under Chinese production patent. In 2010, the first images of the event were released, making it possible to verify that the Chinese embarked fighter had the same structure as the Sukhoi Su-33, in addition to identifying its folding wings and braking hook. The destiny of this model was to operate from aircraft carriers, so the following tests were aimed at that end. In 2012, the first landing was made on the deck of the Liaoning aircraft carrier, confirming its maritime capabilities. Finally, in 2013 the controversial J-15 Flying Shark entered service. The standard version of the J-15 Flying Shark has a length of 22.2 meters, a wingspan of 15 meters and an empty weight of 17,500 kilograms. As for the maximum weight that can be lifted at takeoff, the figure is around 32,000 kilograms. One of the most impressive features of the J-15 is its speed of Mach 2.4, higher than the top speed of the original Su-33 on which the Chinese aircraft is based. Regarding its power plant, the technological dependence on Russia originally became evident, since a licensed version of the Saturn AL-31 was used, which gave it a range of 3,500 kilometers and a flight height of 20,000 meters. In 2022 China took a fundamental step into the future, repowering its J-15s with a locally sourced plant, the WS-10, particularly the navalized version, known as the WS-10H. This information was known thanks to images published by China in which a group of flying sharks was seen landing on the Liaoning aircraft carrier. The Shenyang WS-10 is a turbofan engine designed and built by Chinese engineers and used in several of their combat ships. According to international estimates, up to 2015, more than 300 units had been built, and it is likely that many of them are operating today in the most modern J-15s. The Flying Shark is heavily armed with a GSH-30-130 mm main gun, and a total of 12 charging pylons that allow for all kinds of configurations in terms of destructive material. One of the main armaments is the PL family of missiles, including the long-range PL-15 air-to-air, short-range PL-10 air-to-air, and medium-range PL-12 air-to-air. 
Added to that are the YJ-83K anti-ship missiles, as well as various bombs and rockets for various uses. Unlike other aspects of the aircraft, the weapons are mostly locally produced, China has been seeking to position itself as one of the main missile producers on the planet for years, and there is no better advertising than arming its aircraft with its own products. To operate on board, aircraft must have a navigation system and avionics that meet the requirements. In the case of the J-15, the main brain is the Type 1493 radar, to which is added an AESA-type radar whose particular model has not been revealed to the general public. One of the most important innovations is the MILSTD 1553B bidirectional data port, the same one used in the North American F-16 Falcon. Recent avionics updates suggest that the J-15 could be a 4.5 generation ship, but that's open to debate, the truth is that the onboard aircraft has some interesting versions. The J-15TS were the first prototypes adapted for the Catabar system, or catapult-assisted takeoff but arrested recovery. Basically a system for taking off and landing from the deck of an aircraft carrier. The planes are launched by a catapult, which gives them the initial speed to have their own lift. From the J-15T, the J-15B emerged, which incorporates takeoff capabilities, adding fifth-generation avionics and the PL-10 and PL-15 missiles that we previously mentioned. Finally, there is the J-15D, designed for two pilots and prepared for electronic warfare. Despite the negative fame of the Chinese copies, the Shenyang J-15 competes hand-in-hand -hand with the Su-33, surpassing it in several aspects. As we indicated, the Chinese aircraft is faster, reaching 2,940 km per hour, as opposed to the 2,300 reached by the Russian version. If we talk about operational range, the J-15 can independently fly for 3,500 km, this is 500 km more than the Sukhoi. Despite these inauspicious data, the Russians are not worried and claim that the Flying Shark is no match for the Su-33 in the most important aspects, avionics and weaponry. In addition, Kremlin military experts played down competition from the J-15 naval fighter in the global arms market. To Russian officials, the Chinese J-15 is just a clone of the Su-33, unlikely to achieve the same characteristics as the Sukhoi version. Despite these negative stances, Chinese engineers are confident that the Flying Shark has what it takes to be a top competitor in the combat aircraft market like the Eurofighter Typhoon or the Boeing F-A-18E Super Hornet. In fact, China claims that the WS-10 engines are not yet in their final form and that in the future they will be even more powerful and add capabilities to the J-15. It is impossible to know if this is a warning to the competition, or just a propaganda ploy, but the truth is that Beijing's military industry is growing by leaps and bounds. Do you think China will be able to dominate the aerospace market in the near future? Leave us your comment below. This is how we come to the end of this video, to keep you up to date with all the news from the world of aviation, we want to invite you to subscribe and activate notifications. Stay tuned for our next video.